Stellatite Station in northeast Victoria is a proud supplier of beef for Coles' new carbon neutral range. But right now the meat only really becomes carbon neutral when the supermarket giant buys carbon credits. 75% of our emissions are from methane, so until we crack the nut of reducing emissions, it's going to be reasonably hard work. Cracking the methane emissions nut, so to speak, is big business. A Dutch company, Royal DSM, has developed a chemical powder called Bovair that it says can reduce methane emissions by up to 92%. It really depends on what's the, the diet and the ration combination, so we've seen anywhere between 50 and 90%. Here in Australia, companies like CH4 Global are commercialising the CSIRO's discovery that feeding red seaweed to cattle can reduce methane emissions by up to 90%. While Perth startup business Ruminate is using the active ingredient in the seaweed to make synthetic cattle feed additives. Granule to powder to a loosen. Uh, pellet mix. Laboratory tests show this product reduces methane emissions by up to 95%. One of the big question marks for farmers is how much all of this will cost. Ruminate is aiming for a cost per day per animal of 27 cents and Bovair costs 50 cents a day for beef cattle. CH4 Global couldn't give an exact price but agreed it was currently around $2 a day. That's not the uh, large-scale, scaled-up version price, but that's absolutely a reasonable um, amount for now. Coles has already been involved with trials of Bovair and believes methane reduction additives will be used in the livestock industry in the future. Eliza Borello, ABC News.